Here we are in section 5.6, numbers 13 through 18. Now, you'll notice the instructions on this are to solve these. Now, solving these, these are the exact same polynomials that we had in the previous section, but now they have an equal 0 at the end. This is now an equation where we have to find what x's will make this work. And here are the steps for solving polynomial equations. Number 1, get it equal to 0. Number 2, factor it. And then, because 0 is a multiplication that that everybody knows how to do, multiplication by 0 or multiplication to 0, all we need to do is make each little piece equal to 0, and we got it. So this one right here, it is equal to 0, as all of these are. So we're always going to start with step number 2 here. Factor this. Pull out a 4x, and we get x plus 9 equals 0. So now we let this piece equal 0, 4x equals 0, divide both sides by 4, and x equals 0 is one of our answers. On this one, we have x plus 9 equals 0 x equals a negative 9. And you can go ahead and check that out. If you stick 0 up in the original equation, you get 4 times 0 plus 36 times 0. It's all equal to 0. Stick a negative 9 in there. That's 4 times a neg 4 times a positive 81. That's 324. And 36 times 9. Oh my wordness, 324. Zoop, zoop, negative 324. And we are now equal to 0. So they actually both do work, and they're both answers. OK, number 14. We're equal to 0, so now we now factor r plus 8, r minus 8. That's the difference of squares. That's pretty nice. We get r equals a negative 8. A negative 8 right here would make this piece equal 0. And a r equals 8 would make this piece equal 0. There we go. Number 15 x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. It's equal to 0, so step number 2, factor it. x, x, and this is a plus 2 and a plus 2. So if we let this equal 0, x plus 2 equals 0, we get x equals a negative 2. Same thing will happen over here. Negative 2 happens twice. Oh well, so there's only one answer. Number 16, 5x squared minus 4x minus 1 in order to factor this guy, we're going to need to use the try slower, the AC method. 5 times a negative 1 is a negative 5. 1 and 5 looks like negative 5 and positive 1 is what will work. So we get 5x squared plus x minus 5x minus 1 equals 0. Go ahead and take what we can out of here. We now have four terms. We can group 5x plus 1. Take a minus 1 out of that. We have 5x plus 1. And so take the 5x plus 1 out. 5x plus 1 times x minus 1 equals 0. OK, so we finally did step 2. We factored. Now each piece equals 0. Um, 5x plus 1 equals 0. That's 5x equals a negative 1. x equals a negative 1 fifth. And the other one, x minus 1 equals 0. x equals 1. So here are our two answers to this one. And number 17, solve equal to 0. We got it. x plus 5, x minus 5 equals 0. And this gives us x plus 5 equals 0, x equals a negative 5. And x minus 5 equals 0, x equals 5. Good. OK, number 18. Um, it's already equal to 0, so we're going to factor. If we look back at factoring, this has 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, so we can go straight to grouping. x squared, x plus 5. Uh, we take, can take out of this second half a minus 9, x plus 5. Good. Then that and that are the same. We can pull those out, so we get x squared minus 9, x plus 5. Now, we're not fully done. This is still a difference of squares. So we actually get x plus 3, x minus 3, and x plus 5. Good. This all equals 0. Notice we now have three pieces to set equal to 0. This one, x plus 5 equals 0, will give us x equals negative 5. This one, x minus 3, set this piece equal to 0, and we get x equals 3. And then we set this equal to 0, and we get x equals negative 3. We now have three answers. And you can try them. Stick them up in there. Negative 3 cubed plus 5 times negative 3 squared minus 9 times negative 3 minus 45 will indeed equal 0. All righty then. Good.